Hi! In this video, you're gonna learn about the game event node, how to send game events, and how it works. Let's get started. So, I have a simple uh, graph, and let's see it, that uh, navigates between three nodes. One, two, and three. Let's say I need to send a game event. I'm going to enter play mode right now, so you can see it. And this is one. Let's uh, change this a bit. So this is one. Let's go to two. And let's go to three. Yeah. How do you create a game event node? Well, you right click here in the graph, create node, and select game event. What does this uh, node uh, do? Well, it sends a game event. It's that easy. So let's say after I leave the node number one and I go to node number two, between them I want to send a game event. So let's say I'm going from main menu to the settings menu and uh, maybe I want to update something and I want to do that in code. So let's send a game event. So I just connect this here and I connect this here. This is a pass-through node, so the connection goes through it and goes right the other side. It is red because it's not sending any game events, and this is an issue. But it will work. So let's uh, go to number two and check it out. It went through it, so it's a pass-through. Let's go back to number one and let's go back to number two. But it didn't send anything. And we can also check that. Let's, uh, do we have it here? No. Let's add a game event manager. Actually, it will be added when we first send the first game event. So let's say my test. The game event is a string, by the way. So this sends my test game event. So my test, that's it, my test. And uh, let's go through it. And yeah, we have a game event manager here because the first game event has been sent. Now let's uh, also debug it so we can see in the console what's happening. Because the game event manager is a dy dynamic component, it doesn't have a debug mode, but we can use the global debug to, to see it. So let's go tools, doozy, control panel, debug options, and let's debug our game event manager so we can see all the game events. Let's go back to one. And uh, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to zoom out a bit because this is not relevant right now. And let's go to two. And you'll see that uh, we have a console game event manager received my test game event. If uh, I want to write something different here, let's say open number two. And uh, let's create another game event and let's say open number three. Of course, you need to rename this, send, let's say number two. Yeah, I'm going to do just that. So let's copy and paste here. And here, let's say number three. And let's copy this and paste it here. And let's say when you go to number three, let's pass through this one. And let's also go through here. So now whenever, um, let me rearrange this in a more meaningful, meaningful way. When you go to the node number three, either from two or from one, we will send this game event number three, and then we will reach this UI node. So uh, let's see it in action. One second. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to clear this. We are right now in number two. And let's go to number one. So 
When we go to number two, if I press two, it will send the number two game event and then go to the two UI, UI node. So click number two. If I go to three, again, it will go through here and then go to three. So three, there you go. And this is how you send a game event. Is uh, that easy? Let's go to one. And if I press three again, it will pass through here. Let's clear this. Yeah, that's it. Note that you shouldn't have a game event that is not connected. If I disconnect this and come here, your UI will get stuck. So you should be aware of that. So if I press free, yeah, now your UI is stuck here. Usually you might want to do that if you're using portals or something else internally, but you should be aware that in order to have a complete flow, as you can see, this has no output connections. It has two inputs, but no outputs. So let's go here and let's set this active node. Yeah, and now it will work. Just be aware that your navigation can get stuck here if you have a bad design. Okay, that's it for the game event node. Thank you very much.